You know things have gotten out of hand when you even see Asmongold now talking about AI translators, localizers, and just things to do with anime in general. It seems like this has finally reached a wider audience, and I finally got some time to sit down and watch this video. And I'm gonna just say before I go any further, very good video by Asmongold, very good video by Rev, and it really kind of covers the topics of what's been going on, and it seems like this topic is now spread out to such a wide audience. Now, people that are not even like affiliated or even know much about anime is now finding out about this and I think that in general this is a good thing because this is going to keep those that you know translate in bad faith in line and they no longer can continue to do jobs that are really bad and you don't know, get away with it anymore because now more people are clearly aware of of what is actually happening. So this might be the first time you ever hear about this, and if this is your first time, let's just get right into it. Let's cover our bases. We had it to where there is translators for anime and manga that come in, and they change the overall meaning of words. For instance, this individual on screen here, which is being covered, she is notorious for basically changing words from the Japanese translation into English, and it just doesn't make sense. Either she throws in random, like, politically motivated or agenda pushing within her translations or you know there is some translators that change things to make it dated feel dated like yeet or you know uh, like a uh, based or whatever and obviously that doesn't seem that bad but when you have stuff like that thrown in it dates the product it makes things feel like oh that came out in 2013 or that came out in 2016 so like when you finally sit down to watch the show you're like why was this thrown in this is such a dated translation and I feel like that also so is just not really good. It's not a good job to translate things to kind of fit a modern audience because it dates the product. But let's get back on topic though. The point I'm making is, is that for a very long time now, for years now, there has been translators and individuals that do the dub as well for anime that have gotten away with just putting politics within series that have no business being there. And Asmongold, in this video, finally got to experience that for himself with, like, Dragon Maid. There's a whole scene here with Dragon Maid, and this is an iconic moment for the anime community. I remember this being discussed years ago when this episode got dubbed, but it obviously never reached a widespread audience until now. And now people are starting to find out, like, what, you know, anime dub is kind of like. Because let's, let's be completely blunt here. Most people that watch anime, they don't usually watch dub. Let's be honest. People usually watch the sub and they move on. Now, there is dub watchers, but dub watchers, I... I'm not, I'm not saying all of them are like this, but I feel like a lot of dub watchers are not really that picky, and they're just going to take it at face value and be like, move on to the next episode. They're not going to think too much about if the dialogue was changed into English and there was politics kind of thrown in. But it seems like, you know, this was something that was kind of made some waves a long time ago. Now more people are finding out about it, and it just goes to show what these translators and localizers and all that have been getting away with, and I think that enough is enough. And... Let's actually get into why the drama is even happening now of all times. So, a few days ago, basically, it was a video I made as well. There was a post made by Anime News Network that let us know that the Ancient Magus Bride's manga, when it returns next year, is going to be getting AI translations for its manga to be coming out at the exact same time as when Japan releases their chapter. So, when Japan releases their chapter, there will be an AI translation of that chapter into English, and I'm assuming other languages as well. Now, in the video I made prior a few days back, I talked about how it's not necessarily a good thing, but after having a lot of time to think about it and seeing the community's reaction, my overall opinion it has slightly shifted thanks to more information that's come out. I'll talk more about that in just a second. But overall, the big concern was is that with AI translations now happening, it means that translators are going to be getting replaced. That is basically what's going to happen. Humans that work on these translations, etc., are going to be replaced with AI. And let's be honest here. The real reason why that's happening is not because of this drama with localization or messed up translations or anything like that. It's because it's a money-saving 
you know, you know, agenda. It's like, you know, companies can save money because they don't need to pay an AI. They have to pay human employees. They don't need to pay an AI. So they can be completely satisfied and cut cost here and there if they could just have an AI do the work. Even if it's not as good as maybe a human, you know, they're still saving a lot of money. And in the end result, it, it's good for them. So that's the real reason why they're obviously wanting to add in AI translations for manga. And eventually, I'm going to assume once this is tested out, it's going to spread probably to anime translations as well, not just manga, and then it's probably going to be in the entire industry. It's clearly going to happen eventually. It will. It's inevitable at this point, because AI has quickly grown over the past few years. Anyone that tries to deny that is clearly blind or living under a rock, because AI is clearly growing exponentially. There's been a lot of shifts in, like, different areas on the internet has pushed AI or tried to push back against AI, but it's only a matter of time until, like, AI eventually tries to completely replace, you know, translators altogether. Now, if that happens or not, We'll have to see in the future, but the point of the matter is, is when you hear that information without knowing any context, like anything, okay, and that's just the only thing you hear about it, your first thought in your head is like, I feel bad for the translators. I feel bad for them because they're losing their job. And let's be honest, nobody, it's not good to see someone lose their job. It's like, that. that's awful. That, that feels bad because it's like, clearly they need to have a job to be able to live. They need to have a job to get food, etc. So seeing someone lose their job is not necessarily a good thing. And so it makes sense, like, when you hear these, you know, uh, like, stories about AI replacing people, you quickly want to rally behind the human worker. Makes a lot of sense. But that is not what's happening within this controversy, this story that's been taking place. Most of the community, and I've been seeing this for days now, you can even just type in localizer here or translator on Twitter, and you'll see people continuously basically happy that AI is going to be replacing these translators that translate anime and manga because they have been doing such a shoddy job for a very long time. It's very fascinating, honestly, because usually, like I said, in this type of circumstance, you would see people rallying on the human side. But that's not happening here. And the reason for that is because over years now, with very bad translations or politically motivated agenda pushing within dub, has caused the community to no longer trust these official workers, the human workers that give us our anime and manga. And they're just like, you know, you constantly have mocked us, for instance. Like, there is an individual here, this individual, which actually has me blocked, by the way. And also, hashtag human translator, by the way. They have me blocked. And I want to be completely blunt here. I've never interacted with this person ever at all. I have never talked with them. And Rev here says it himself, basically saying if you even like any post that's against, you know, her at all, you're instantly blocked. And clearly, you see it for yourself. I'm blocked. Now, anyways, back to the main point is that um, this individual, you know, was for a long time, like, praising, you know, like, the translations and all that, like, you know, messing it up and changing it to fit, like, you know, Western culture, and a bunch of other, you know, translators were doing the exact same thing, which Rev shows pictures of, examples, and all of that. All the information is basically here. These individuals right here like to say, stop doing cultural appropriation, but in reality, what they're pretty much doing is just that. Changing a language, like Japanese's culture and language, to fit the narrative of your politics in Western culture is pretty much that exact same phrase. It is cultural appropriation. You are changing it to be for your culture. And it's like, it's crazy that you have individuals that are like that, that say you shouldn't do that, but they're actually the ones doing it, like with these translations, etc., and mocking people for pointing them out, saying like you're, you know, an awful person or whatever, because you're pointing out these mistakes I'm making. A good example here, I think, that I saw from one of Asmongold's comments, and I think it perfectly represents this entire argument, is that, let's say you are going to a fancy restaurant. You want a burger, okay? A, a plain burger with ketchup, mustard on it, a bun, obviously, and that's it, okay? You wait about 20 minutes, the burger is put on the table, and you look at the burger, and for one, it doesn't have ketchup and mustard on it, and then you find out that the burger is a vegan burger, and it's like, what the hell? I bought a burger. Why did you give me something I did not ask for? That's pretty much a good example here, is what's happening with translations or localizers. They're changing the actual thing you're asking for because they think it's better if they give you what they want to give you. That's what's happening. And I just, 
it's crazy. This controversy has really blown up in, you know, these translators or localizers' face. Like I said, a few days ago, I was more sympathetic, but after really seeing all the different comments from different, like, localizers and all that, it now makes a lot more sense why the community is rallying against them. Because if you continuously give them bad products, people are not going to like you. And they're obviously not going to rally behind you to want to defend you and all that if you have continuously mocked them for years at a time. I mean, I've known about a few of these over the years, but actually seeing this whole video and getting full context to everything, like all this here, is just absolutely wild. I... My mind was honestly blown when I was just reading the different stuff people have been posting all over social media, what people even link me to in my comment section for my YouTube video. It's actually insane. So the moral of the story is, is that uh, you reap what you sow, and the people that have been doing shoddy translations for a very long time now have pretty much damned themselves. And the thing is, is I feel bad for the translators that obviously put in honest work. I know there is a bunch of translators out there that do honest work, they don't do this type of stuff or whatever, but the problem is, is for years this has been going on, and there's been no pushback really, besides obviously the fans really pushing back on it, and now that things have gotten this far and it's getting so bad now, now you have people speaking up about it or the translators trying to speak up about it but it's like it's a little bit too late now it's like the community no longer has faith and as much as i feel bad for the actual real translators in the community it's like this is why it's happening it's because it's a little too late at this point you reap what you sow and now people just don't really care if like you know translators are replaced by ai call me callous call me cruel for what i'm saying i know that sounds messed up what i just said but that's why people are acting like that, and it makes sense. If you give people a bad product, they're going to go a different direction, and they're going to be happy that you're getting replaced. That's just how it is. That's just how life works. So, yeah, absolutely crazy. I was very surprised to see Asmongold talk about this, but I'm happy for it, because I feel like finally there will be some shifts, some pushback that needs to be there, because this has been going on for a very long time, and people were completely unaware of it, and now they're just, they're not going to be able to get away with it anymore. It's not going to be as easy. Now, do I want AI to completely replace translations? No. But I do think that uh, now you're going to have some more actual translators come into play and try to do a good job, or they risk having themselves replaced as well and not getting any backing by the community. But I'll leave it at that. I uh, just want to talk about that. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me your thoughts. How do you feel about everything? Links to this video in the description as well if you want to check it out for yourself. Thank you so much. And once again, good video, Asmongold. Good video, Rev. You did a very good job. And I'm just, thank you for enlightening me even more on this subject. I had no idea all of this was going on until I watched this. So thank you. Be safe, everyone. Stay healthy. Chibi out.